All right, so we got another event to go ahead and go over inside of Evade here. So this will be uh, very exciting for those who actually like to continue to play Evade. But we got uh, presents here instead of tickets. Tickets were the Halloween currency. It looks like for the winter event, can't call it the Xmas event, they're going to be presents. So let's go ahead and hop in and check this out. This is going to be a long event. This is going to last like a month and a half. So get ready. Um, there is only 10 tiers again, just like the Halloween one. So let's jump right into it. All right, so the first tier here, we got snowflakes. The Santa hat. Cozy scarf. The cranberry cola. This is one of the first cola skins, I think. Festive headband. The present mimic. I think it's going to be a trap. Evil toy duck. Perhaps another trap. Christmas boogie. Oh, yeah. Dude's getting jiggy with it. We got two unusuals here. The blizzardy storm and the minty explosion i'm looking forward to this one next page we got the carrot nose the led flashlight ornament bandolier the candy flintlock gift bomb the nutcracker dance another fortnite taunt you'll love to see it in roblox that was a joke the north pole lamppost the back menara and we got two unusuals for this tier as well. We got the Xmas Burst and the Glacial Outburst. For the next tier, we got the Sock Stocking. Don't know what that entails. It's probably something that goes on your back that we can't see right now. Candy Confetti. Eggnog. Gingerbread Guards. The Snowman Trap. Tasty Timer. The Snow Globe. The wind-up dance. Ooh, this is actually an interesting one. Is he going to dance on the third one? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my God. Ain't no way he just did that. Two more unusuals inside of this tier as well. We got the Sub-Zero Burst and the Frigid Perception. Next tier, we got the Bobo Snowman Pal. The Hanging Mistletoe. The Hanukkah Timer. Handheld Candle. The Berry Mine. Festive Antlers, Candy Cane Barrier, Krampus, ooh, that'll be fun for people to use. Bro's got horns coming out of his eyeballs. And two more unusuals inside of this tier as well. Suspended Lights, and the Shimmering Coronet. Next tier for tier five, we got the Vintage Hat. This is a Scrooge for sure, for Scrooge reference. The Backpack Gift, something that goes on your back, of course. Ornamental Compass. The Toy Train, Melted Frosty, Campfire Doze, it's going to be a good taunt, Decorated Gate, Snowflake Teleporter, Mechanical Bugler, okay, I have been playing a lot more uh, Tower Blitz, and this Bugler is definitely a character from Tower Blitz, and an unusual, the Frost Flame, or Tier 6, we got Cane Daggers, a candy cane shotgun. They're going all out with the weapons. Santa's list. Me or you. Marching soldier sensor. Portable chimney. Probably another back item that we can't see. Snowman head. The Xmas tree hat. Combuster. Different type of Krampus look. I'm not for sure. Unless it's another Tower Blitz reference. Glowing tree as the unusual for tier six. That looks huge. For tier seven, we got back crank. What for? <laughs> I can't believe I just said. For tier seven, we got the back crank. Another back item. Snow globe lantern. Can't really see it. The jolly scythe. Another back item. Glacious set. Melodical harp. Reindeer Beacon, the Three Piece March, the Xmas Tree Floodlight, and then, ooh, we got the Winter Chains as a uh, unusual here, and the Angelic Redemption. So these are the wings that we looked at in that one unusual showcase. So that's really cool that it came to the game, as well as the Winter Chains. I think they're two separate things that were together. For tier eight, we got dual candy canes, another back item. The North Pole sign. Yeah, I guessed correctly. Another fucking back item. The gift hat. Mischievous gingerbread. Bro is literally stealing an ornament. The radio nutcracker. Permafrost staff. 
Santa suit. The Northern Star. Gilded Jetpack, another back item. And the Aurora Borealis, Borealis, whatever that word is or says. Looks like some Northern Star type of lights for this unusual. At tier 9, we have the Grinch Mask. Gift Sled, another back item. Hollyberry Infection. Ice Pad. The Wreath. Ooh, I like this item. Soul Lantern. Melting Snowman. Another Melting Snowman? Chimney Stack. A Hover Train. And a Snowmobile Cruise for a, uh, for a taunt, an emote. And for the last tier, oh boy, we got three unusuals in this one. We got the Ornament Hook. The Blue Windbreaker. That looks really cool. Winter Seer. I don't know what that is. The Candy Crown. Satchel of Noobs. Another back item. Who would have guessed? The Flying Sleigh. And then we got uh, three unusuals that look like they're the same, just different colors. So we have the Auroran Stag, the Gilded Stag, and the Verdant Stag. So we have purple, red, and green for these different types of unusuals. And I don't know whether or not the fog like that goes around it is different as well but it does look like it and that's pretty much everything inside of the battle pass they did bring back um the amount of gifts that you collect you can go ahead and get specific items of course the green gift gift pair and the gift stack these are going to be the three different tiers of gifts you can get in the game to help you progress throughout the battle pass and it looks like the gift stack is 10,000 gifts this uh this event and here's that festive set they were talking about this was that uh audition that you guys could go ahead and use robux to have exclusive items and cosmetics in the game not pay to win but if you guys are looking to collect more stuff in the game get yourself the festive set i will not unless you guys really want me to but as of right now i'm not getting that and that's pretty much everything inside of the xmas event menu for evade if you guys want to check out some other stuff that the event has brought go ahead and click on the other video they uploaded before this one it should help you guys uh, kind of understand some of the other stuff that was entered into the game it wasn't much it's pretty much just just uh, some new maps, the event menu, and then some of the new things you can use for reviving people. For example, in the character inventory, we got carry animations now. You can use all these carry animations to help you kind of stylize how you carry people in the game. And I think that's the best addition. I don't even care about the event. This thing was it just, just topped it all right here. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me. My name is JMT, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.